Almighty Father, today is the day you have set to walk here. Sinners will be set free. Their sins will be forgiven. Their lives will be changed. Satan will pack out of the life of people. Today you are going to make your people joyful. The joy of the Lord shall fill everywhere. Speak, your children are listening. I mean your angels be ready for service. In Jesus name we pray you can be seated I'm talking to you on deliverance from deception and spiritual blindness deliverance from deception and spiritual blindness the battle over the souls of men is a serious battle a strong battle what satan is doing over your life, over your brother, your sister, the neighbors, and the people in the world is so serious. Satan is working hard to ensure nobody comes to Jesus. He is working hard to ensure even those who have come to Jesus should go back. Satan is working hard to ensure nobody works after the truth of the Bible. In fact, even to you that have accepted this truth and are working in it, Satan is doing much to ensure you drop that truth and turn back from it. And he uses the power of deception and spiritual blindness. In the book of Luke chapter 11. I read from verse 21. And 22. The Bible tells us here, saying, When a strong man armed, keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. And when a, a strong man that has, is armed with his weapons and is guiding his house, those things he has in the house will be untouched. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divided his spoil. When someone that is stronger than him 
comes upon him, he will first collect from him all the, the weapons he has, overcome him. Then he can have access to the property of that man. The reason why many people are in sin in the world is because Satan has armed himself with lies and the power of spiritual blindness. The reason why people come into the church have lived in the church for long but there's no salvation there's no change is because Satan is guiding them with the power of lying and spiritual blindness. Some of you would have become workers, mighty ministers of the gospel, but you are sitting down crippled, doing nothing. You are empty. Why? You are under the lie deceptive power of Satan and your eyes, your mind have been blinded. Let me talk to you about the weapons, the weapon of deception. In the book of John chapter 8, Verse 44. The Bible tells us here, Ye are of your father the devil. John 8 verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil and the lusts of your father, the desires of your father. Ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of himself of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. So you see here the Bible calls Satan a liar. And he is the father of lies. Originator of lies. The manager, the one that manages lies in the world. He prospers by lying. And he has children under him, people under him that prosper also by lying because they got his character. His children, be they demons or human beings, were gotten by deception. Before Satan got you to, and is now controlling you, he told you so many lies. Before he employed you to his company and now you are working for him, he told you so many lies and he is using many lies to pay your salary. He is promising you many things with lies. Satan is like a man that went to a woman and lied to that woman to marry her. 
after he married the woman home, and the woman said, ah, what, 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 where those things were telling me? You say you were a manager of uh, this company. What is happening? I'm not seeing it. What happened? He used other lies to tell that woman. So the marriage continues because of lies. That's what is happening. Yes, what is deception? What is deception? Deception is the um, uh, the is the um, is the ability to tell somebody convincingly a false statement and make him believe it nduyebo ime kamadu kwenyeregi ni yenke na abu gesoku owe kweri ekwesi ike when someone can come to you and say something that is not true but say it is so frantically say it is so assuredly so convincingly that you believe that it is like that, that shows he has deceived you. Many of you are sitting on a lie. What you are sitting on now is a lie. Many of you have been given promises of the future that this will happen, this will happen, but it's all lies. You are waiting for nothing. What is deception? It is the ability to make someone who holds a truth or a true opinion turn back to disbelief and oppose that opinion gini bundu here obu ikikere nke na eme ka mado onye jibu ezuku na mbu edu here otogbo ezuku oji we na roga you believe this you hold this you do this and you know it has been working for you all this why if you can allow somebody come and tell you something that makes you turn away from that thing, disbelieve that thing, and hate that thing. That is the power of deception. How could Judas Iscariot, who had lived with Jesus for more than three years, Seeing the works and life of Jesus. And hearing his words and watching the miracles. Turn again to agree with his enemies. The Pharisees that Jesus had a demon. And that he was not worthy to live. I want you to see the power of deception. Judas. Judas. Had a better privilege than you. You are hearing of Jesus. Judas saw Jesus. Jesus, uh, Judas saw Jesus. You struggle once in a while to see miracles that, that are done in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. Judas see, saw them every day. Judas, you're not living together with the pastor in his house, and yet you believe that, oh, but my pastor is righteous. Judas slept and rose up with Jesus every day. Judas na Jesus ne dina to come again and say, no, he has evil spirit. He's not worthy to live. I believe what you people are saying. You can see the power of deception. 
Ono kataze esi mbano. Inya ide kwe koro zimia. Inwere mojo. Ikwe siki ki iti ndonzo. Nkabu ikikere nkedi nandu here. The power of deception. Ikikere nkedi nandu here. When the Lord sent uh, Sister Linda. Mbe onye wanyi. With the message of life to the world. Wenye ya ozi nki he. Nye nuwa. These instruments were used by the devil. He brought out this instrument. The power of deception. And spiritual blindness. Jesus took Sister Linda to the lost chosen church. Jesus and saw a demon called the God of Chosen very clearly and the Lord said this is what they are serving here not me and it was so clear announced to the world in tapes or in tape yeah how how is it that those people didn't hear? The power of deception. I'm telling you because this power is working in the world. No, Linda is from a new water spirit. Ah, Linda, No, Linda is a serpent. You see deception going on. Until they came to say Linda has died. Let the matter end now. Let us live our lives. And nobody is bothering again. Are you not thinking of heaven? Have you considered your eternal soul? That it is the God of your life that sent that information. He has walked with the leader, the leader cannot change, will not change. He said, The people under you are my children. Let me go and tell, expose you to them. And considered it to be a privilege for you. So you save your life. But the power of deception went into action until everybody now is deceived. The matter has become history. Souls continue into destruction. Can you see that? I'm telling you this. Because that is what is working in the present world. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 Verse 13 2 Timothy chapter 3 Verse 13 But evil men and seducers Shall wax worse and worse Deceiving and being deceived Ma umu mado John and dine me kamado manonya haga dinjo karia ne du ye kwa ma burundia ne du ye. This is the work given to evil men by Satan. They are moving forward, increasing in their work, increasing in their speed. How do they do it? By deceiving others. And being deceived. What could you have heard about God? that made you not to be serious with God. What could you, what could you have heard Give, about God that made you now to join Satan? You are now an agent of Satan. He has sent you to come here for an assignment. An assignment against God 
and his children against God the creator of your love against God that has power to kill you today what did Satan tell you what have you heard about Jesus that made you to be a Muslim made you to join other religions and you are even saying that you belong to, the, to Judaism and since the Jews don't want Jesus you too don't want Jesus what did you hear the power of deception you had weights contrary deceptive weights that is why you are now fighting God that is why you are now opposing Jesus what did you hear about the children of God that everywhere you see them you want to kill them everywhere you see them you want to cheat them everywhere you see them you want to do one harm or the other you are under deception somebody has told you wrong things over the children of God what could you have heard about the preacher of truth? Maybe myself, Pastor Paul Rica. You, you would have heard something. Oh, he was in deeper life before. They chased him out of that place. He was an evil man. What did you hear? I'm saying Satan is doing everything to ensure you don't go to heaven. Satan is doing everything and is using the weapon of deception. He's giving you information to make you take action. So that you will now resist the grace of God. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, when Satan armed with his deception keep a man, keep a woman, they remain his own. They remain his own. What does he do to these little children that he sends them to go and kill? He, what does he do to these witches and wizards that he sends them on air and to work for him? He shows them that he's, he is greater than God. He tells them he has the power to kill them now. He carries them to a fake place, a pretended place, an unreal place, and showed them some kind of beauty and say he will give it to them. He carries the little child in, in a dream, in a spirit and goes to put him on top of a mighty chair and make people come and bow down before him and say, you are king, you are king. So you are one king more and will increase your power. And they begin to go wild. Power of deception. He carries a man to, ma to a place and shoot him money of all currencies. Nigerian currency, American currency, that of Europe. He shot them and said, I will make you rich if you bow for me. 
Oga boro mado onye ego na agusi aguike oga ogosi a ego ndimbo wa nke Nigeria nke America nke uh, nke Britain na pambo wa ndi ozo na adura se igbo ise la nyem aga me nye ga ko he carries a preacher some pastors i say do you know pastor Porika moving up and down now i am the one who gave him power oga boro ndi umu aka ka na cho in age ji ra cho pyo ndo ozi omo o sa uno huru ya na ewe pastor Porika o mu nye ri ike oji aru uh, but Pastor Rika is preaching holiness. Man, I you so. Yes, I met him to preach it. And you sit down here and think I'm preaching by the devil. And so whatever we're doing here is still one of us. It is the power of deception. You are kept by the power of satanic deception yes what has the devil told you what have you heard that you are rejecting sound teaching why is it that up to now you say you love God but your earrings are still in your ears you're still in your trousers as a woman your the way you do you palm your hair you do all this worldly life what costs you to remain in it ah gini bu ya o jigi noru isi na ihuru chi neke na anya ibu nwanyi e ka yiri ola nte e ka were ntutu mami wata tinye ni sigi e ka na yi trouser dika nwanyi gini bu ya o ekwesu medogi isi na ibu nwachi neke mene what made you that after you have removed this thing you went back to your vomit you went back to those things again I am saying, we a strong man, armed. Keep it a person. Keep it a woman. That woman is safe for him. Eh, gini bi ya eko sumre oji weka jide gano horo. Mani yin na kawata ge wuna. Mwe dike jinyo je chero mwe. We ne eche kuo biya. Onu wanyana nana piya yoji. Eko insu ka jige na horo rwe uwa. You are kept by satanic lies. Satanic deception. What have they told you about holiness revival movement? Holiness revival movement. That you say, hey, everybody leave that place, everybody leave that place. When I say what are they telling you? That holiness revival movement is now holiness that the word of God in, in it, the truth of God in it, the grace of God in it, you say no. Now, Satan used the power of deception to keep you away from holiness revival movement. You would have used some preachers. I don't know. Maybe somebody even wrote a book on it. Somebody preached it into a CD message. And then you came across that deception. And rejected the gift of God. And rejected the calling of God. Satan deceived Adam and Eve to their damnation. They were. Everyone Adam no riakoya. How we bana hold you cool. Lesianya, be careful. Lesianya, my brother, my sister. One them one and one them one. Man of God. Oh yeah, kechineke. Woman of God. One in kechineke. Coordinator. Coordinator. Here be. Gemonte. Satan used the power of deception to remove Adam and Eve from the garden of God. Until they saw their nakedness. More than that. Until they were driven out of the garden. Beware. The power of deception. Watch against the spirit of lie sent against the church and against you. In the book of First Kings, First Kings chapter twenty-two, First Kings chapter twenty-two, 
First Kings chapter 22 I read verse 21 Ndeze nkembu isi iri abo na abo ayiro kunkiri abo na otu The Bible tells us here saying and there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said I will persuade him Aku konso si monso amojo we bia na iru chineke we si aga meme ko kwenye sike What is the whole story I will persuade Ahab to go for the battle. Or say Agama Rugide Ahab. Go away Ganaga. And in that battle he shall die. Ogani Rugeba Ogamu. I will make Ahab go for the battle. Agama Rugide Ahab. Go Gaga. He was telling God proudly. Oh, when I watch him again, can we him game? Verse 22. And the Lord said unto him, Where with? How will you do it? How are you going to succeed? To convince Ahab to go up for the battle. And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Oh, see, I got my apple. We got the apple. We got the apple. And the Lord said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. If you will go and tell lies, if you will go and tell lies, it's true, it's possible, very clear. You can make him take any action. So, the spirit of love has come among us. People are dreaming lying dreams. People are prophesying lying prophecies. People are seeing false visions. So as to move you out of the path of God. To move you out of the ways of God. To bring you together to fight yourselves. So be very careful. The power of deception. The power of deception. Many coordinators are no more in holiness movement. Why? Power of deception. They came and told them some things. Many precious people have been removed from the presence of God. Power of deception. Now, have you understood the power of deception? Have you understood the spirit of love that has kept you wretched? Has, has kept you under bondage has hindered progress in your life is making you how to love your brother love your sister no you can't accept love you can't give love now I will talk to you on spiritual blindness spiritual blindness in the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 and verse 4 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 and verse 4 but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God should shine unto them. Deception leads to spiritual blindness. Do 
Hallelujah. Na aboro mado ba na isin ki memo. They have told you lies. Now you are seeing things according to the lies they have told you, and now you are not seeing them correctly. Eh, how do you hear again? In Malaysia, in Wehe, no one knows what is going on. Uba, it is not your All these electric bulbs hanging over us, go and cover them with red. Red. What will happen to this room? It will turn red. I am when I hear Jehovah's name walk, I am on the ground where I am going to catch me, 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 but you are hanging there. Can you hear me now? You're now sitting here with wrong thoughts. Everything has turned red. Because of that which you have had. Because of what they have put in your heart. The deception you have received make you see even the preacher. The verses he's cutting, the illustration is given. You are not seeing them. You are not understanding them. Why? You are spiritually blind. I pray that as the word of truth is going forth with the power of God, it shall melt your spiritual blindness. Because of what they have told you about Jesus, anytime you think about Jesus, or they're saying something about Jesus, or you read something about Jesus, your mind is different because you are spiritually blind. Listen to what sinners are saying about Jesus. Listen to what other people of other religions are saying about Jesus. Why? They are spiritually blind. That's what the word of God wants us to understand. You are blind towards Jesus. You are blind towards the doctrines of truth and righteousness. They have told you this one doesn't matter, this one doesn't matter. So even when they teach you about restitution, you refuse because as you said, I can't understand that. I can't reason it. A professor many years ago in the university came to where I was. And somebody told him, believe on the Lord Jesus, you will have eternal life. He said, what do you mean by eternal life? Life is a perfect thing. There is no eternal to it. It is a perfect life. He wants to use his academic to describe eternal. He said, "What do you mean? By, do you understand what you are saying by eternal life? Our life is complete already." I said, "He doesn't need to be eternal." He is using what he read in books. Oh, Nigeria, to. Talk about spiritual things. He said, I can't understand how life can be eternal. Why? Again, spiritual blindness. Spiritual blindness. The teachings of the word of God. On Christian marriage. Don't go and pick a wife in here. Pray to God to give you a wife. Don't accept a husband in here. Pray to God to confirm that that person is given to you for your husband. And because they don't know this truth. I can understand when I have food to eat the session. I should pray before I eat the food. Here is a woman I want to marry her. They say I should pray. The carnal mind is blind to the things of the spirit. 
So that's what we're saying. Blind to us true ministers of the gospel. Blind to us holiness revival movement. All that you are hearing, the prophecies of God, the revelations of God, the teachings of the word of God, you don't understand them. Therefore, you see no difference between this place and the Catholic Church. There are people that say I can go to any church. Church is church. That's just a man that has not yet gotten understanding about spiritual things. And Let's see what is spiritual blindness. It is described in Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13. I read from verse 13. To 16. Therefore. Speak I to them in parables because they seeing see not and hearing they hear not. Neither do they understand spiritual blindness. A woman was taken to a church. And the preacher was preaching and the interpreter was interpreting in the language for her to understand. After service, the person who invited her said, Hey, how did you see the church today? I saw two people fighting themselves in the pulpit. <laughs> All that was going on in the pulpit, she was not hearing. She was just saying, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? <laughs> they hearing, hear not. Seeing, they see not. Neither do they understand. It's a terrible state. If this is your state, it is a terrible state. If you are here, all I am saying, all I am illustrating, all the Bibles I'm opening, you are just seeing me like this. You are not here understanding. I'm telling you that's a terrible state. Other people when they come immediately they say, Okay, let us pray, they're sleeping. Wake up and hear, say, I'm hearing. Wake up and I say I'm hearing. You're sleeping and you're hearing. After service, what will you say you have heard? Spiritual blindness. When the devil armed, carrying his weapons of spiritual blindness supervises a church with it nobody there will go to heaven when the devil pursues your life with this spiritual blindness eternal life is lost because you are not hearing. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But the devil has put you in a state in which 
you cannot hear. Jesus says, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand. Jesus said, by hearing, ye shall hear, but shall not understand. May that not be your portion here today. May the Lord deliver you from spiritual blindness. May the Lord open your ears to hear. May the Lord give you the heart to understand. Well, in some spiritual mystics, they say Satan carried their heart and he did somewhere. If your heart has been carried by Satan, command that heart back. Pray to God to bring it back. And today, we shall pray for you. Yes, that's what Jesus said. And, shall, and seeing, ye shall see and shall not perceive. Jesus said, A particular woman. Uh, a, a, a preacher met with him. With her. I say, give your life to Jesus. And then she said, What? What do you say? say, Give your life to Jesus. He will save you from the sin. I'm not understanding what you're saying. Uh, why? It is like a blank wall, a wall like this. I'm just seeing a blank thing. I can't understand what you're saying. Ah, this the evangelist knew that Satan has blinded this person. So he looked, she he looked at, at the woman and said, I bind you in Jesus' name. Then the woman said, eh, You bind me. Okay, is, uh, how are you? How are you? Uh, actually, where were you going? You played with her. And they talk other matters. How work we handle them? Then later, say, hey, I told you that you need to repent of your sins and give your life to Jesus. Oh, please, I'm ready. I'm ready now. I want Jesus. I don't want to be like this. Again. I told you, can you do it? Later, he asked her, Have you been dealing with herbalists, going to herbalists, collect charm, lick it, put on your body, do this? Say, Yes, that blinded your heart. All this charm you are collecting for business, you are collecting for success, all this witchcraft you are doing, the result of it, the profit of Satan is armed. He blindfolds your heart. Say anything about Jesus, you won't understand. It will not stay. This same preacher made a, was a doctor, another a doctor rather. Was treating a, a, a man in the hospital. The man was 70 years old. He had cancer. And by his state, he would die in three days' time. So the doctor wanted to lead that man to Jesus. So the doctor came. Doctor, where be? Father, you know you are going to die. You are going to face God. Is your soul prepared? You need Jesus in your life. To take away sin from you. The man said, what I say? Get out from my prison here. I don't want to hear what you are saying. I said, get away. Uh -uh. The doctor knew he was face to face with Satan. 
doctor looked at the man and said, I rebuke you, Satan, in Jesus' name. Doctor, when they are in a brain, I say, Equus, I'm banging in a Jesus. Eh? What I say? I say, is it? Father, how are you feeling in your body here now? See, how is it? No, you could get a rugged the word. So, okay, yeah, I'm feeling if the thing is hooking me. Hey, on, as you on, as This is my part here. I could get a rugged the word. Okay, now. How about this Jesus Christ? I'm saying that you will soon face him. He is the it's the owner of your life. When you give your life to him, I'm ready now. Please pray for me. I want to receive Jesus. Sir, give me a Jesus son now. Go get my Oh, be a boy now. When dogim, when I dig, I get the against the rule. Oh, sir, dig up, bury me. When I jump in the bataya. Later, he interviewed this man. He had been all these people going for charm for this, going for this, going for this type of business, witchcraft business, charm, collect this, do this. Blind for your man. Mbome charabaya ju join a way chopta. No ga go on a tadi bianka or not on yanka. Eme now you can pass it each other. We may we see more. When the ghost our gospel is hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in which the, the, the prince of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. Mbobu no so man is a reso mobun do so reso. That's where hearing they will hear, but they will not understand. In fact, son of man, these people come as my people. They sit before you as my people sit. They hear you as you are preaching. In fact, the weight of your preaching is like it is coming like a song sung by a man that is skillful in music playing on an instrument. As you are speaking, I said they should stand up and be dancing. So we blow the whistle. They don't know what they are doing there. They can't have the understanding. They are under spiritual blindness. It's a serious case, my brother. It's a serious case, my sister. The world is under Satan. Without Jesus, what can we do? Jesus, Without Jesus, what can we do? Hey, what's God Jesus? Get a game, man. Yeah. Uh, that some sincere Christians can also suffer from this spiritual blindness. Ndinke Christ we put a robe behind me, chine ke we parike. Inwe ten sobunke isimo. They suffer in part. Hana agabiga na otu akoko. Why? Makageni. Because of pride. Nihi unganga. Unwillingness to submit themselves to the ways of God, the choice of God, the wisdom of God. In Luke chapter 10, verse 21. Luke chapter 10, verse 21. Luke, Isiri, Ahiroku, Nkiri, Abonotu. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and the earth. No gawa who Jesus and God renew more wesi and a man ye kerena on ye kereli guenua. That thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto birds nina is an ari wo ya po ana ka ndi ogara na ndi oka amamihe ma bugeye nyi umuta na nwara even so father for so it seemed good in thy sight eh abona di otu anna otu aka omaseregi can you see what jesus is saying here eh ori ye jesus na ekwe ba they feel they have known enough ha ke na nke ha ma rezugo they don't need anyone anymore to tell them they feel they have attained to the height height of knowledge everybody must come to them they forget that it is God that is distributing 
severally to every man as he will. They think it is based on their own education. Master, bachelors of theology. Master of theology. Doctor of theology. Profes professor in theology. They are thinking in that way. They don't know that God, even the apostles, they were ignorant and unlearned men. That uh, God used to bring light to the world. They think it is by experience and the number of years they have served the Lord. So they don't consider, they don't think any small person, any young man, any young convert, any young Christian can come up with any knowledge for them anymore. They've forgot that the Lord called Samuel. Samuel, come, I will use you when Eli was still alive. They think it is by large congregation. Denominational expanse. That the Lord will now come to them. They become, they become godfathers of God. That's what they're thinking. They think it is by human recognition. They are recognized in society. And everybody expects that any revelation of God must pass through them. They miss it. Jesus rejoiced Jesus that the proud in spirit miss his way. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced and say, I thank thee, O Father, the God of heaven and the earth, the God of the angels, the God of mankind. God over demons. You have hid these things from the wise and prudent. And revealed them to birds. Even so, Lord, it seemed good unto you. You know, if maybe if they told them that uh, superintendent. Or of overseer, this this is coming to nature. They would have filled up this place. Abu na sehana onye we onye si ukadi ota ba burbu na mbu wanabia eba agaga ba madi ne ba pop. They miss God. Abu nde na da henu borun sochineke. God is not going by pride. Chineke ana ge jimpa ko emehe. He is a humble God. His ways are ways of humility. His ways are ways of humility. In all the world, they that humble before him are accepted by him. He doeth according to his will in the inhabitants of men. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. That is God. Therefore, whom the Lord has chosen, all of us that remain, follow him. Don't count your age. Don't count your position. Don't even say I am the father in the law. You are not a president, but your son became a president. You won't honor him. So this is the matter. Agents 
of spiritual blindness and deception. Who are these people going up and down deceiving people? Satan their father. He went to the garden and deceived Eve. Where do hear Eve? And cause spiritual blindness in their lives. Demons. Demons. An evil spirit said, I'm going to be a lying spirit to him. Look at you freely serving the Lord in holiness revival movement. Evil spirit came and gave you dream and said, you, do you know you are a great man? The Lord wants to raise up a ministry through you, and your name shall be called over the world. You say, hey, okay, get out of all this movement. I, the Lord, I am going to cover you. I will do a new thing. You de is deceptive spirit to take you away from the place of peace and righteousness, and in your pride, damn your life. That's how you are dreaming various dreams. The devil knows how much useful you are in the hand of God here he gives you dream that you saw yourself in Kaduna and that your business prosper you don't know that a deceiving spirit has come to remove you where you are burning to take away the firewood from the flame and take it out. It and cool down. I'm telling you. Evil workers. Demons. Again. Evil workers. Evil workers. In Romans chapter 16. Verse 17. Romans 7, 16. Verse 17 to verse 18. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. But their own belly. Come after her. And by good words and fierce speeches. Deceive the hearts of the simple. Come as it any root or no kumaram makahaji when they do have open kenamagi here. There are some of these counselors. Emor of Fodundin Domodo, one of our national coordinators. O to name the coordinator in a now Buddha who was doing well and was well spoken of. On your name and comma and a bakarasiama. Now it's no more in holiness movement. What did he say about one, two months ago? No, maybe in January. What did he say? He said, it was this minister in this country, great man of God, that told me, don't give attention to holiness movement. Face your ministry. If God will demand account from you, it's not your holiness movement he will be asking you to account for, but the ministry he gave you, voice of Satan, the serpent. Will I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? Will God say, I'm using holiness movement for worldwide revival and hinder people from coming 
Ogasi na ajo meji hore mo kwara ngworo number 1 ile we bo che ko mu madagari bi eba and hinder people from walking there we make mu madagari ro ni me everybody go for your ministry onya wona je ni je osinke deceptive power of satan ikikere nke ndu ye ekwe su ji alo lu na where is his ministry ebe ki je osi ade is sitting down in wretchedness ono no ba where is the crowd that you used to see ebe bo eba ona je e mengara they have gone when will you recover? No, don't talk about recovery because you're outside the will of God. I'm telling you, be careful of these counselors. They will sit down here and be sending you out. And be sending you out and they're still here. If you have any matter, you come to them, they are Absalom. Oh... This your vision is good, but it cannot work in holiness movement. And you know clearly that God has been emphasizing my attention has left denomination. My, I am gathering my church into one. I brought this movement. I brought this movement. But spiritual blindness has made you that hearing you cannot understand. Seeing the signs of God clearly, you cannot perceive. False ministers, deceitful workers ministers of Satan are preaching all everywhere for free free Christianity that if the, all that will take to heaven is even anointing oil it's handkerchief if you want your prayer to be answered, be counting beats, be counting beats. False ministers, deceitful workers, instrument of Satan for deception. Instruments of Satan for spiritual blindness. All you need to do now is to go and drink oil. All you now need is to carry sand from Jordan and put it in your house. Anytime you feel anything, go, go to where you put sand and match on it. Everywhere my feet shall match. This is sand from Jordan. It is, it is sand from Jordan. It is sand from Israel. A blessed land. For your information, Jesus is not there now. Deceitful workers have kept you in your sin. They're telling you another thing. It's like the prophet when Jeremiah was saying, The Lord said, You will go into captivity. This captivity, 70 years, you will be there. But Zedekiah and other people said, No, in two years you're coming back. That's what the Lord has told me. Jerusalem. And this have their, their face holiness movement to say every manner of thing to weaken you about holiness movement is for your damnation. Hey, we go to Iru Ton Ajo Kudi Chiche. We put us go holiness in Irugi. We de query and kaga bama mi bedirim probiki. Today you will change. Tata, ega iba we. All the deception of the devil, you will renounce them. Ndu ya ni ne keji ndu ya gi ega konare ha. That's what God expects of you. On kaka chine ke na tonya na kaga. You are going to renounce them. Ega agonare ha. Who are they? False brethren. Abundi one omu naoga. They are here, you are thinking they are serious people. Very active, moving up and down. They can be coordinators. They can be coordinators, why? They can be a leader of every kind. They could make their way into the choir. They are always seeing them. They are always, you can be in the usher. But they are false. They are not true people. 
had agents of Satan to walk deception. To walk deception. They can tell you, as for me, I'm not convinced of those things they are saying in holiness movement. I'm not convinced. I, oh, they can say, Jesus appeared to me. Jesus <laughs> and told me, where is him? Leave Pastor Rika alone. I'm just enduring with him. And I made the You, I have chosen you. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I got no Tell other people. And he comes, with this sweet tongue, he convinces you. And you don't know that he's a messenger of Satan. Say, but he's a member of our movement. I have told you. Yes, pathway for your deliverance. Come to Jesus. That's the way. That's the way of deliverance. The Bible says in John chapter 14 verse 6 John chapter 14 verse 6 Jesus said unto him I am the way the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus wears a seer John chapter 8 verse 12 Then spake Jesus again unto them saying I am the light of the world He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life. Jesus, we go home to us. We see more women boy hang kowa. Only in Kenya, some agaga jijen or chichere. Come on, agaga gari di hang kendo. No other way. Satan is not the way. And when you saw so, Ekwen saw but you saw. Satan is not the truth. Whatever Satan is telling you is a lie. Jesus is the truth. Jesus, we are The only truth. All other true beings are mean of Jesus. All truth proceed from him. Stick to him. Don't walk in darkness. Turn that heart over to Jesus. He will open it from darkness. Where are we in Jesus? He is the truth. Come to Jesus. He will give you the spirit of truth. You will be able to design the truth. You will be able to design life. Give your life to Jesus. Walk with Jesus. Jesus. Stay with Jesus. Jesus Call upon Jesus. Walk with Jesus. Cover yourself with Jesus. Live with Jesus. Jesus Walk with Jesus. You will be delivered. That's the pathway of deliverance. Jesus is the deliverer. Jesus He will set you free from lies. He will loose you from your master. Yes. Follow the written word of God. Jesus said, if you continue in my word, you will know the truth. Jesus said, and the truth shall set you free. The Bible said, believe his prophets, you will be established. Believe the true preachers of God who are speaking according to the word of God. Believe his prophetic word that is verified in scripture to be pure. 
When you are a woman, you will be established in your Christian life. Follow the word of God. Forever your word is settled in heaven. It cannot change. It cannot change. Don't listen to those people that are turning you away from the true doctrine of God. You drove away your wife and married another and they said do restitution with this present wife. You go for, to a, a false preacher who gave you counsel. No, it cannot be. And you're believing him. Don't believe him. Believe the written word. Renounce and dissociate from evil company and satanism. The reason why you cannot be free, you have not understood, is because of those charms you are putting around. Burying in your house, carrying about in your pocket, drinking them. Stop those things. Otherwise, you will never understand the gospel until you die. You who are members of occultic pastors, you will never know the truth because you are under cage. When the devil arm keep it his church. All the members are free from believing the correct thing. The power of evil spirits sprinkled in that place can never allow your heart to understand even if you read the Bible yourself. Turn away from evil company. Dissociate from evil churches. That, that is the solution for you. Give yourself to prayer and sit for prayer so that you can be delivered from the spirit of blindness and deception. You have bought pure water for healing. You have bought anointing oil for success. You have bought even milk, tin of milk. They say, this tin of milk, they can say anything and you accept. You you have apron. You cover yourself with apron. Bullet will not enter you. You are blinded by the devil. You are under deception. You are under deception. In those things, your senses cannot perceive. When the trumpet sounds, you will not hear. Because you have been blinded. Your ears are deafened. May the Lord deliver you in Jesus' name. Pray to God earnestly. Open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your world. Pray that God will open your eyes. Give me an understanding heart to understand your love. Pray that God will give you a heart that will understand. Today is a day of new decision. You are going to begin a life today. Today you are coming out of satanic lies. Today you are coming out of satanic bondage. Jesus 
Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Jesus said, He that follows me shall walk in the light. He shall not walk in dark and shall have life. He is inviting you. He is inviting you. Break away from those things. And begin true Christianity. Not those hypocritical business you are doing under Satan. Begin true Christianity. Yielding your heart, your mind, your all in truth to Jesus Christ. Fellowship with righteous people. Surrounding where the spirit of God is and the spirit of God shall give you liberty the spirit of God shall give you deliverance today the Holy Spirit shall start his work in your life you will be delivered you will be delivered you will be delivered I say you will be delivered up upon your feet. Total freedom. You can't be in bondage anymore. Total freedom. You can't be in bondage anymore. All that deception cancelled in your life. All deception cancelled in your life. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and pray. Call for mercy. You are under deception. Call for mercy. You are under the bondage of spiritual blindness. You, you who are proud, repent of your pride. Repent of your pride is the reason why you are blind. For thou, thou hast seen this thing from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them to babes. Stop associating with demonic people. It will cause spiritual blindness in your life. Stop reading demonic books. It, they will cause spiritual blindness in your life. things you have not verified Satan just told you lies and you believe them satanic mean told you lies and you believe them satanic women told you lies and you believe them Things that you have not verified. The pain from believing a lie. Ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Jesus name we pray. Anye bena ha Jesus. 
I want to intercede for you before God. Just raise up your hand. I'm interceding for you. Against these weapons of Satan. Deception and spiritual blindness. Almighty Father. With this weapon, Satan is doing great damage in humanity. He is doing great damage in Christianity. He is doing great damage in the church. Oh Lord, those who are here. That Satan has kept them under his power. Power of deception. Power of spiritual blindness. I pray, burnt up those things in their lives in Jesus' name. I rebuke you, spirit of deception. Back up out of their life. Get out from their life by the authority of God. Go in Jesus' name. Recover them, my father. Recover them, my God. Lay their hearts return to them. Lay their minds think correctly. Brother, receive a miracle. Yeah. Miracle of restoration. Yeah. Those evil things you believe, let them vacate out of your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Your eyes that are unable to see the truth, may the light of the truth from heaven shine unto you now in Jesus' name. I am ready to obey your word. I am ready to obey your word. I am ready to obey the living word of God. I am ready to obey your word. Your word. I am ready to obey your word. The living word. I am ready to obey. Your word. The word of God. I am ready to obey the living word of God. I am ready to obey your word. Open my eyes, O oh Lord. Open my eyes, O oh Lord. Amen. Open my eyes, O oh Lord. My father, open my eyes, O Lord. Oh, my Jesus, open my eyes, O Lord. I am ready to obey. I am ready to obey. Amen. Now, God has heard you. You have made a promise. You have made a prayer. You have prayed now, God has heard. 
you are ready for real Christianity, not those hypocritical ones. I mean the correct one now. You're, you have understood the gospel. You want to surrender to Jesus. Raise up your hand where you are. In a sincere way, you're going to drop your sins. You will follow righteousness. You will want to go to heaven. Come forward here, please. Come, come here. Come forward here. Sincere but, Christianity now. Not the one with spiritual blindness. Not the one with spiritual blindness. The correct one now. The correct one now. Right, correct, clean. Clean one. The one that will not offend God again. That is what you are ready for now. Tell God that you have come for real Christianity. Tell him now you are here now for the correct Christianity. Not abusing people, committing immorality, practicing witchcraft. Never the correct one. The correct one. Plead with him to give you the real forgiveness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And you better have Jesus. I believe the Lord has touched you. And that's why you came out. Because you want to serve him in righteousness and in holiness. That's why you are here. Then you are going to make a serious commitment now. As so you are going to say, whatever I say, you, you just say it after me. Almighty God, the creator of heavens and earth, the God of holiness and righteousness, I have heard your word and I trembled. I trembled at your word. I trembled at your word. That's why I have come out to surrender my life to you. I have found out that I am not serving you in holiness and righteousness. Now I am out handing over my life to you. I am sorry for my sins. I am sorry the way I have served you in the past. I have served you hypocritically enough. I have served you in hypocrisy enough. Now I want to serve you in truth and in spirit. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my trespasses. Lord, give me grace now to serve you in holiness and in righteousness all the days of my life. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Because I know you are giving me the power now. You are giving me the authority now. I am now a child of God. I am now a child of God. I will serve you now in holiness and righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Satan, I denounce you. I reject you. And all your works. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for you now. Okay. 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 I want to 
Ana megu zoni irugi. Ne kuputa. Nje hefdile. Iru aboni ile. Nu zoni inobola. Kimsi beregi. No bi abwa. Ni iru abwa. No bo chita. Ana mabiaru na nchegari. Na aryoki. Kibwa aram. Ajo mumem nile. Ne kosiki nitu kwa siobi mnile. Jesus. Ama aramgi. Dika chine ken kezi o mume. Dika chine ken kidi so. Na chine ken kezi o ku. Dika mna apotani irugu no bachita. Ana me mwembe bi onho. Ifegi. Nidi so. Ifegi. Nesi o mume. Ifegi. Nesi o ku nile. Sita no bachita. Gani iru. Ekwensu. Agona ringi. Niru mu madu. Niru ndi mozi. Nade titi ndi mojo gi. Abu kwa gi munke gozo. Sopo haka gi bam bam. Ma kwa rangu ongo gi. Bwalaga ni mandum. Na ha jizos. Mozo. Birini mem. Dwem no boruzo de lare. Steno bo chita. Kamburu akorungwa. Nkige jiru putezi o mumegi. Nidin so. No bo chita. Where God is, now Jesus Christ, boy, you are. Thank you, Jesus. You have delivered me from total blindness. Say it again. You have delivered me from total blindness. I am free. I'll pray for you now. Almighty God in heaven, na inke puri mi heri ne bideli gwe. The God of holiness and righteousness. The eternal God of glory. The creator of the entire universe. The father of all spirit and flesh. We thank you so much. These your sons and daughters. That have had their world. And they search for words. And they have come to convey their sins. They realize. That they were not serving you in holiness and righteousness. That they were walking in spiritual blindness. They were bound by the devil. But now you have lost them. They are free. They are delivered. They are set free. We thank you, Father. And we pray now that you give them power. Because you have said that as many that believe, you give them power to become the sons of God. Give them power to live above sin. To live above reproach. To live above the manipulations of the devil. To live above the schemes, the designs and strategies of the wicked. Because all power belongs to Jesus. Every power of the enemy Lord against their lives We command them to be broken All the yokes All the shackles And afflictions and torments Of the devil upon their life Command them broken In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus You are loosed you are set free. You are delivered. You are saved. In Jesus name. God bless you. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816 902 3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address 
Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe.